think it was an exciting week for us and for our program to, you know, have North Dakota State return to Grand Forks for the first time in 18 years. As a player, you know, when you recruit guys, I mean, this is why you why you come to a school like UND um, to play in rivalry games like this. And uh, I think it's a part of what makes college athletics special, um, those rivalries and just having kids from the region, from the state, from the same recruiting areas going against each other. A lot of the guys maybe played against each other in high school or know who, who each other are. So that's, it just means more when it's regional. We've been waiting to have this game in our house um, for quite a while and we, you know, we want to give our fans a chance to see a great game. It's bigger than the team, you know, it's, this is about, you know, the city, the state, the alumni coming up and showing up. You know, this is, it's a big game and uh, this is primetime football. This is what I wanted to come back for. This is why our senior class came back for, you know, this is, this is big. It's a rivalry that the whole team knows about and it's been prevalent since last season when we lost in the spring, but the atmosphere leading up to this and doing that hawk walk and high-fiving all the little kids and, and seeing the smiling faces of the crowd, I mean, it's something that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Having that much support, it really does mean a lot, you know. Having all those fans there cheering for you, rooting for you, high-fiving the little kids and everything, it's, it's something you probably won't ever be a part of again, so to be able to have that, especially on a game like NDSU, it meant a lot. I mean, I tried to shut out the noise, but it's hard. It's hard not to look at social media and look at all these old rivalry pictures and just to think about it more. And uh, especially going to the game in the bus and seeing all the people outside from both sides of the fans, you know, and getting out the bus and doing the hawk walk, it was just chills. First home game that I've been to was back in 2017 or something like that, whenever they were coming back from the Big Sky Championship. And uh, that was probably the last time I saw the tailgate that electric. We've watched clips from, you know, 1980, 1990, you know, the Sioux versus the Bison rivalry, you know, out of Memorial. Like, there's so much tradition, and we're not just playing for us, we're not just playing for our families, but we're playing for everyone who's played for this university in the past. One of our past teammates at Captain Hunter Pinky, he even said in uh, the breakfast before the game for the team meal, he said, it's moments that you know you'll remember forever. And when you're this age, you don't have too many moments when you're going to remember them forever. So that really, you know, hit home. You know, so the build up to the game and the environment uh, throughout the game was uh, really what makes Grand Forks and UND special. It is a banner day here in Grand Forks as once again two of college football's oldest and most heated rivals get together on the gridiron. Number 10 North Dakota will take on number 5 North Dakota State. I think it was really electric in the Alaris on Saturday. The crowd was ridiculous and I've never experienced something like that. It was definitely the loudest and most packed I've seen. You've put all this time into it, especially coming off the bye week, not seeing no action for a while. We were really just amped up, ready to go. We knew it was going to be a dogfight out there, so we emphasized a lot during the week to bring the fight to their O-line, and I think all of us did that. We didn't back down from anything, and we were ready to bring the fight to them right off the bat. This aggressive Fighting Hawks defense making a nuisance of themselves. Defensively, we just really played well and had tackles for loss and negative plays, and I think that got the crowd into it. And we played physical. We were up for the physical challenge. I think we kept it simple. I think the coaches had a great game plan. I think uh, for the most part we executed it really well. We were on top of our stuff. Keep swinging every play. Coach Alinka put in a really good game plan for us and I think everybody did their assignments and studied hard the whole week so that we could run his game plan to perfection and I think it really helped out. We saw that when we fake clap that they looked to their sideline and try to readjust so we thought maybe we could catch them off guard. We were just looking for advantages uh, throughout the week and this is one that we thought we could take advantage of. Schuster on a quick snap, has Belquist open, touchdown North Dakota! Bo Belquist from Tommy Schuster and the Fighting Hawks are in front. He still had to make a good throw and Bo goes up and makes a good hand catch and, and had to execute it. That's what, really what it comes down to. I don't know how to even explain it really, honestly. It was just like the best feeling ever. I didn't even know they had that in the uh, playbook ready to pull out, so that caught me off guard too. They will carry a one point advantage going into the break. 7-6 our score. And we just gotta keep going. 
You guys get out there, man. You gotta play with some eggs. This is a huge moment in this football game. Fourth and one from your 20-yard line. On our own 20, uh, going for a fourth and one. Uh, we've been talking about this all week. You know, I'm pretty confident in getting a yard. Wanted to uh, find a spot in the game where we could really gain momentum. And, and that was one area that we thought we could do it. And it's my decision. Got to live with that decision. And when it doesn't work, it doesn't feel very good. But you got to be able to move on. Gutsy call by Bubba Schweigert and Danny Freund to go for it. Down at their own end, leading by one. A couple of chain links short. The Bison defense gets the turnover on downs. We wanted to be aggressive in this game. Uh, sometimes it works out, sometimes it didn't. Unfortunately, it didn't. I think that was a big call in the game, and I just got to be able to get that first down. When you know the measurement was and we were short, our guys headed right out there and were ready to go. I think we all went out there with courage, and we were really ready to defend our territory, and I think we did that. Really liked the response from our defense to gather and go out there and get a stop to hold them to a field goal was, was really big momentum swing again. Patterson the second on third down and goal from the three. He'll keep it himself, and he will walk in for the touchdown. And that might be the game winner for North Dakota State. Honestly, it's just a game of inches. I mean, a couple of things went their way, a couple of things went our way. Uh, we go and look at the film, and there's a couple of things we could have done a little bit better, maybe executed a little bit better, but I think we were out there fighting. The final score in this one, 16 to 10, and the Bison on top of the Fighting Hawks. We have a 24-hour rule in this program. After about 24 hours, you really got to push that loss aside and move on and look forward to next week. So that's really what we're doing. They say get over it in 24 hours, but definitely will leave a little sting maybe for 25 hours or something. So it sucks, but you know what? At the end of the day, it's just going to make our team better. It's just going to make our team want it more. So I think everything happens for a reason. And if us having to lose this game, which is going to make us better for all the games to come, and just to show everyone how serious of a football team we are, if that needed to happen, that needed to happen. Right now, we're 0-1 in the league, and we know we got a tough opponent this week. So uh, a lot put into the game, a lot of time, energy, emotion. But every week, there's a lot put into football games. But can we replicate the preparation and the energy that we played with? Because we want to do that every, each and every week, and that's going to be the challenge put forth forward to our team.